Hey, hi everyone. This is Gautam, the founder and CEO of AI Sensi. And today I'm going to take you through the demo of AI Sensi platform. AI Sensi is a complete platform to drive your WhatsApp marketing to boost your business. You can connect smart chatbots from Google dialogue flow. So you can have multiple human agents sitting on the same WhatsApp number and they can monitor those chats and they can also intervene those chats very, very easily. Next moment, you can broadcast messages and notifications to thousands of leads in one go using the AI Sensi platform. Also, you can connect your CRM, lead forms, payment gateways very easily using our APIs to drive automated notification campaigns. To start off with the platform, you can easily sign up using Google. Once you sign up, you need to create a project. One project is linked to one WhatsApp business API number and the whole platform is built on the top of official WhatsApp business APIs. As of now, I have this project called AI Sensi New. I have this number already approved on the WhatsApp business API. If you don't have a number approved on WhatsApp business API yet, you can play around with the platform. You can connect your chatbot from Google Dialogflow and you can enter your mobile number in this test your assistant column to actually test your chatbot using WhatsApp. But to use this platform for your business, you need to get one number on the WhatsApp business API. So let's go on and see how things function once you have the WhatsApp business API approved. And now I just need to go to manage and in the chatbot integration, I just need to upload a simple JSON key file from Google Dialogflow to connect my chatbot. Once I click on save, wow, I have essentially connected my Google Dialogflow chatbot to my WhatsApp business API number. Next moment, I can just go to WhatsApp and start a chat with this particular number. Let's see how this chatbot functions, how you can actually monitor and intervene chats using the AI Sensi platform. So I have my WhatsApp out here and I just need to type hi. So you can see as I type hi, it gives me a response from the chatbot and simultaneously I can see that whole chat on my platform on the left hand side as you can see here. So basically as I'll do some kind of chat around here, so if I can say what is machine learning. I get an instant reply from the chatbot and simultaneously I can see the whole chat going on and flowing through basically on the platform. On the right side, you can see I'm having a chat with the chatbot on the WhatsApp. On the left side, I can see things as a business that what kind of chats the user is having. On the left side is the mobile version of AI Sensi platform. So basically I can see all my chats here and you can see three columns like active requesting and intervened. So if someone, you know, says something out of the box like X, Y, Z or which the chatbot might not be able to understand, it actually transfers the chat to human and the chat goes from active column to the requesting column. And I get a response out here that, you know, sure, I'm happy to connect you with one of our expert counselors regarding this. And so I receive the chat on the requesting column and simultaneously on the top bar also. So once now I can view this chat out here and I can actually intervene this chat very, very easily. So I can say, Hey, I am an human. And as I type it out here, I can actually see that, Hey, I am an human has been received on the WhatsApp simultaneously. And if I type something on my WhatsApp, basically, so now the chatbot is not responding. Instead, a human is sitting there who is responding to my chats. And this is how, you know, human agent intervention works. Moreover, if I now click on resolve, so this chat goes back to the chatbot and the chatbot starts chatting again. So if I click here, like one, and I'll now get a response from the chat assistant saying that, you know, AI Jani, your data science partner is here to help you with the best courses to just suggest best courses. So, and so, so, and so, so, and so, and this is how the whole chatbot system is working. I've connected this chatbot called AI Jenny with the AI Sensi platform. I can view and monitor all the chats that a user is having with AI Jenny chatbot. I can also intervene the chat when required and I can chat with the user as a human. So you can see it is very mobile compatible and you can use this whole platform on mobile too. Jumping on to the next part, I would like to show you a few more features like how you can extract data within the conversation that the chatbot is having with the user. So let me go to the user profile. In the user profile, I can see multiple things like the status of the user, like number of campaigns we have already driven, the attributes, the tags. I can create multiple tags right from here saying uh, new lead. So this tag has been added successfully to this user. I can see the complete customer journey. When did the user come in? What kind of campaign has been sent to this user and when? Coming on to the next part, I would like to show you how these attributes are collected and how can we use this attribute to actually segregate our audience and broadcast them a message on the basis of that segregation. So next moment, I'll just say one, uh, I'll just start profiling basically on AI Jenny. So AI Jenny is a dialogue flow chatbot. 
it has NLP powers and you can configure your own chatbot on Dialogflow very very easily. Don't worry, we have multiple templates for that and you can easily find all the templates on our website. So as I said one, I get this answer what defines you better in terms of work experience and if I say two, that is bachelor's degree, you can see as I said bachelor's degree, same bachelor's degree comes in here and I can see that you know in experience I can see bachelor's degree on the attributes column. Same way if I go for you know machine learning in sense like three. So I can actually see that machine learning is going in as a career option in the attributes and then I can go for some kind of PG masters course. So this AI Jenny chatbot also has a recommendation engine. We can help you with these kind of chatbots. If you want some customizable chatbots or you know some good scale recommendation chatbots, you can get that too. So now basically I've got all the attributes that I needed in real time. I've extracted these values from the conversation. So as per a rule by WhatsApp, you can only intervene in this chat for 24 hours. After 24 hours from the last message, basically this chat will go to the history page and I won't be able to intervene it. And to now start a conversation, I will need to send a template kind of message, which I'll have to get approved by WhatsApp to initiate a conversation with the user again. So to initiate a conversation with all these users who have been chatting with me previously, I need to actually send a templatized message. So basically, it is right now in live chat, by tomorrow it will go to the history page. Coming on to the next part, I can actually segregate the whole audience on the basis of my filter. So I can say the filter was experience is set apply. So experience is set apply is only for me and I can just or I, I could just say you know experience is bachelor's degree and I can apply that too and I can see the chat coming in and so I can see the complete information what I had collected in this CRM managed system moreover I can import my leads into the system and I can broadcast them a message also I can export all of these contacts and shift them to my CRM or I can connect this whole platform to my APIs to shift all the leads from this CRM to my own CRM it could be HubSpot it could be Salesforce it could be lead squad or, or any other CRM Talking about what we can do next, next we can actually broadcast a message to Gotham, that is me. So I can broadcast message by choosing the contacts I have filtered out and I can just say example campaign. I can actually shoot two kind of messages. One is a pre-approved template message. I can send them to all my leads. Regular messages I can only send to those people who are within the 24 hour window. So basically I can choose a template message out here. I can configure this whole template message very, very easily. So I actually have dynamic values in this template message. So for dynamic values, I can say hi dollar first name that will take the first name of the user. Thanks for registering for WhatsApp strategies event. Okay. For suppose that is the name of the event and the date is 25th March. And the time is uh, 4 p.m. And now the link to join is could be https sensei.com slash es. And this value of last thing also could be es. For media URL, I'm just taking in a, my own logo. So I have this whole message frame. What kind of message is going to my user? I can actually see that message. I've got this message approved by WhatsApp beforehand. I can send it easily to any number of users I would like to. I can say just image logo and I can just click on send now and that just shoots the message to the users I have chosen. So I can actually check whether I've received this message or not. And I have actually received this message here. You can see this is the message that I have sent. And on WhatsApp, I just got this message that hi Gotham, that was the dollar first name thing. Thanks for registering for WhatsApp strategies event. That thing I wrote down there, we have a receipt slot in your name. Here are the details of the event date. So time, so link to join so and so and you know, so that is how this whole message can be sent to any number of users that you already have. Moreover, I can go to campaigns and I can actually see the results of this campaign very, very easily. So I can see that, you know, the number of people have read this campaign, how many number of people have been, you know, sent this campaign and all of that stuff. Moreover, I can show you a better start. So we send this message sometime back. So this is how the whole campaign things looks like. I can see the number of sent users. I can see the number of deliver, read, failed, etc., etc. So basically this is how, you know, I can actually view the analytics of my campaign. Moreover, I can create 
and launch campaigns very very easily using the ASNC platform. So we got a live chat covered, we got the CRM covered, we got the campaigns covered. Moreover, you can launch API campaigns right from this dashboard very very easily. So you can connect your lead forms, you can connect your payment portals, you can connect your CRMs and you can shoot a message whenever some event happens on your payment portals or your lead forms. So I can just create a campaign name link saying lead submit. The template could be even reminder for suppose and I can just set it live. So now you get an API doc from our side. So now you can actually shoot messages to your users using your own CRM. Coming on to the next part, we have already been through chatbot integration. Next is user attributes. So those attributes that you are seeing on the profile have to be pre-configured here itself. And these attributes are essentially Dialogflow parameters that we are collecting using Google Dialogflow chatbot. I can submit template messages right from this dashboard to WhatsApp. So I can create a template message here itself and I can submit it to WhatsApp. And once I get the approval from WhatsApp, I can start shooting it to multiple people and I can start broadcasting messages accordingly. So I can see the status of, you know, template messages from this dashboard itself that I've got so many messages approved and so many messages are impending or rejected or so and so. Moreover, I can create multiple agents. So initially we give you two agents for free and my multiple agents can sit on the same mobile number and chat with users very, very easily. So for suppose I can add an agent here saying best agent and uh, it could be Ankur, password could be. And that I can just create an agent out here. Great, so I have created an agent right here i can give them different roles it could just be an agent who sits on the live chat and they can just do the chat or if you want your agent to become a manager they can also become a manager and they can start shooting campaigns also so you can change the access level right from this dashboard moreover i can manage tags from here in tags we have a very special category saying a first message tag so essentially if you are driving multiple campaigns or your users are coming from different pages in your website that means we can have a different pre-filled message that is the first message that the user is sending and on the basis of that we can have an automated tagging done so the tag name could be i could say suppose a user coming from an mba college page and i can just say this is a course category and i can just say customer journey yes and i can just say that if the first message was hi tell me about MBA or I can just add another first message that could be MBA and I can just submit it up. So if now a user is coming in and saying MBA or, so that user will be automatically tagged with this particular tag called MBA and this will really help you segregate the audience without your agents having to tag them. Moreover tags and attributes combinedly do a lot of user profiling on your end and you get much more deeper insights about the user through these various tags and attributes. Moreover I can see the analytics now. So there were campaign analytics where I can see all the campaigns driving through and these are normal analytics where I can see the number of chats happening per day. I can see the number of users going in per day. In agents I can see the agent analytics also that what kind of agent is doing what kind of chat and how it is flowing through. Moreover, I can generate the API key from here. Using this API key, you are actually connecting your CRM, your lead forms and your payment gateways and all your systems with your WhatsApp API number or I can see the ASNC platform. Moreover, lastly, billing. So using the billing, you can see how many remaining credits do you have. You can upgrade from here and you can, you can change plans. I can switch projects from here very, very easily. I can go to another project that is a test project. I can see that this test project doesn't have an API approved. I can just click on apply. I can submit my details and I can get my API approved. Thanks a lot for watching this demo. I hope you use the platform and you love it.